What is it in America that's really changed? And let me point to one thing that I think is helpful in trying to understand what we call the culture war. One thing that's changed dramatically is that from the beginning of America, from not just the founding, from before, all the way until I would say the 1950s, maybe the early 60s, there was a moral consensus in this country that there is a moral order in the universe that is external to us that makes claims on us. Our job is to try to live up to the standards of that moral code. Now, there was some disagreement about what the moral code is. Obviously, Christians and Jews might disagree about what it is, but let's just take the Ten Commandments as representing this external moral code. If you went around in 1950 and approached Americans and said, hey, do you think the country would be better if everybody followed the Ten Commandments? 99% of all Americans would go, yeah. And it wouldn't even matter if you were Christian or Jewish, you could be a non-believer, and you'd answer, yeah. So this represented a, a shared agreement across the whole society. It reflected, if you will, the deep Judeo-Christian roots of this country. Now, this is not to say that everybody obeyed the moral code, but even if you didn't, even if you fell short, that was your standard. That's what you measured yourself against. So what has changed in America now, as I see it, and I see it especially with young people, and I'm sure it's true of many of you, is a shift in the source of morality. Now, a lot of older people don't understand this, and they will say, a morality has gone to hell. America has seen a moral decline. And what I'm saying is something a little different, not just that we've seen a decline in morality, what we have seen is a change in what morality is and where it comes from. So a change in the locus or roots of morality. In other words, the change can be summarized this way, that in the past, Americans believed that morality is out there. And now we believe, many of us in America, that morality is in here. Morality now doesn't come from the external code, it comes from the inner self. And that means that when young people today, many of you, face a choice, and I don't just mean a, a deep moral conundrum, any choice, uh, should I, Juliana, go to law school or become a poet? Should I, Jim, do I, Jim, love Sally? If you're trying to answer that question, how do you do it? Do you consult your, your parents or your pastor or, or, or God? Well, for a lot of young people today, none of the above. You dig into yourself, you look deep into the sort of inner self, that little being inside of you, to guide you authoritatively about what you should do and how you should be. And this is something that is kind of new in the world. In other words, the self as the ultimate adjudicator of morality. That's something kind of startling. Lincoln was elected to unite a country and stop slavery. Democrats smeared him, went to war against him, assassinated him. Now their target is Trump. They say he's a racist, a fascist. But who are the real racists and fascists? A nation dies, and its people are not free. It's now up to us to save America a second time.